Chances are you've probably seen them on the shelves of your local grocery store, a recent boom in the availability of gluten-free products. According to Package Facts 2011, gluten-free product sales reached more than $2.6 billion in 2010 and is expected to exceed more than $5 billion by 2015. Why the increase? Dr. Lily Tran of Advanced Gastroenterology and Surgical Associates explains that a gluten-free diet brings critical relief to those suffering from celiac disease. Celiac um, sprue um, disease is a, actually is an autoimmune condition where the body essentially in layman term causes antibodies that um, uh, will not allow the GI or the small bowel to absorb wheat products. Now, if you go into your cabinet, uh, pan food pantry, and you look on the box, uh, 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 wheat is very prevalent. It's used in binding agent, it's used in many things that we eat, um, and people are not suspecting that. Now, the reason why celiac sprue disease is becoming more commonly known is because of the awareness in diagnosing the condition. Symptoms then include things such as bloating, uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and because the small bowel is very important for absorbing products such as iron, minerals such as B12 and so forth, and patients will then become um, um, iron deficient and they will develop anemia and weight loss because they can't absorb well. This is genetically, uh, genetically inclined. Um, now, patients will come to our office and say, well, you know, Dr. Tran and I have been on a gluten-free diet and I feel much better. That is not to say that they have a celiac sprue disease, but they may have malabsorption to the wheat products or the gluten products. And I would say to them, well, if this makes you feel better, then this is something that you can stay on. But to be gluten-free, strictly gluten-free diet is very difficult. So, and you know, the, even the, um, supermarkets these days actually are becoming aware of these conditions so they have more of the gluten-free products um, that are, are readily available for people to buy. According to a 2009 study by Data Monitor Group, the diagnosis rate of celiac disease may reach 50 to 60 percent by 2019, mostly due to efforts aimed at raising public awareness of celiac disease. For more information on the treatments and surgical procedures available at AGSA, please click the Gluten and Celiac Story link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.